Well, to finish off tonight, we turn to the Royals, to Prince Harry and Meghan specifically, the dreaded duo who simply cannot help themselves from whinging and whining and apparently all in the name of privacy. Since Megxit in 2020, we have been subjected to a Netflix documentary, a book, the Oprah interview and ugh, the list goes on. The pair have taken every opportunity to try and undermine the monarchy. So, our final question tonight, should Harry and Meghan be stripped of their royal titles? Let's welcome our keen royal watchers, Sky News host James McPherson and royal commentator Angela Mollard. Hello to both of you. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us Thanks on the show. Thanks for having us, Danica. Oh, look, James, how much more is the firm going to take from these two? Not much more, surely. I can give you a <laughs> dozen reasons why they should be kicked to the curb, but I'll give you three. Go on. Number one, Harry and Meghan would be happier if they were simply Mr and Mrs Sussex <laughs> rather than royals. I mean, they don't call them the ginger and the whinger for nothing. They've done nothing yeah. but complain from the moment they were born into or married into the royal family. The only benefit they see from being part of the royals is that it adds a revenue stream for them. So make them happy, get them out of there. Second, the royal family themselves would be happier. I mean, they can't plan a funeral or a coronation without worrying about how it's going to affect Meghan and Harry. They Awkward. become Exactly. They become the centre of everything. <laughs> so the royal family would be better off. I mean, Harry has called uh, Charles Mean, Camilla Nasty. Uh, he's called his brother a bully. He's called Andrew an embarrassment, and on that one he may have a point. Mm. But yeah, uh, the well, royal yes. family would be happier just to get rid of them. And finally and quickly, I think the British public would be happier. Mm. I mean, when you have a cancer in your body, you don't keep it around, you cut it out. Harry and Meghan are a cancer in the royal family. He's wow. fifth in line to the throne. Now, it's unlikely, okay. but it's still possible. All right. Do you really want King Harry? We don't. Get rid of them. <sighs> Angela, what do you think? Ooh. Some strong sentiments there. He's on fire, James, yeah, tonight. No, what do you no, reckon? Do they want to kick him out? Out. Uh, not at all. It's a meaningless and mean-spirited act to do it. Look, you mentioned Prince Andrew. If you're going to get rid of anyone, get rid of him first. He's, you know, guilty of fraternising with a convicted pedophile. <laughs> He's number one. Secondly, you don't have to get rid of them. their titles. They're already diminished in the court of public opinion. They're doing it themselves. You don't actually need to, to uh, formally take them away from them because we don't see them with that kind of regal monarchy-attached uh, life anymore anyway. So there's no need to actually remove the title from them. They're doing it themselves and at the moment the royal family have the moral high ground by not acting. To do so would be seen to be petty. And let's also be compassionate and a little bit more empathetic about this. Yeah. We're talking about a 12 year old boy. James, have you read Spare? Have you read it? I have read parts of Spare okay. and then I poke my eyes out with a sharp stick. Okay. If you read Spare, you mm. will see, yes, what you called him, the ginger winger, the princess. Yes. But mm. you will also find a 12-year-old kid who was made to walk behind his mother's coffin, who was paraded in public, who was not allowed the privacy that any child should have. Now, you take away his title. Who does he become? A, He's, he will only be Harry Wales. That's a fair point. The trauma name. of his childhood. Yeah. Surely that's a consideration. You feel sorry for Harry and Meghan and, and with their mansion in California and all their privilege and I just don't feel any sympathy for them, I'm not asking you to feel sorry for them. I'm asking you... said it you, would be mean to kick them out of the royal family. I'm asking you to show compassion towards mm. them. If you could argue that stripping the titles would be beneficial for the royal family in whatever way, you may have an argument, but there is no benefit to the royal I, family I of the, stripping them of the title. For the protection of the monarchy and for the integrity of the monarchy, they should not be part of the royal family. They bring it into disrepute and you don't do them a service or the public by allowing them to remain there. If your argument is they're basically not part of the family anyway, so leave them there, well, my response would be since they're basically not part of the family, go all the way they and will, restore the integrity to the monarchy. They will always be part of the royal family. Yes. And let's talk about the fact that royal, all families change. In 20 sure. years, 20 years ago, nobody had any um, love for Camilla. 20 years mm. later, she's holding That's up the royal point. family at the yes. moment because the rest of them are on hospital. Well, I guess, Angela, I mean, 